Let's people shout hallelujah. A believing hallelujah. Victorious hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's be gloriously seated. Today, as the Lord leads, we, we consider our monthly team fit for the master's use. Fit for the master's use. The anchor scripture, 2 Timothy 2.21. Let's put it there. Please, media, I will need your cooperation. If a man therefore poured himself from this, let's read it together because of the time we've been enjoying the lord from the beginning of the service we see enjoying the lord god is so good only time the holy spirit for helping us so far but we are taking it further this is a time for the word of god and i believe the lord god is going to minister to somebody mightily today and you will go out from this place most fit for the master's use. I say God will use you for his glory. You are called to the place of his glory. You are created to the place of his glory. Anyway, I can tell you that is a June team. Praise the Lord. So a journey that is so wonderful. I don't know, through this journey, God will comfort us last month so that you can comfort others with the same comfort that you receive from the Lord. And today, this month we say, fit for the master use. Next month we say, to the praise of his glory. The Lord gave me once. I waited, but the Lord said, next month, this is it. So this package, what we miss, Elisha will not miss Ahaziah. What we miss, Hazel will not miss Jehu. The enemy is out of the equation of your life. All that I see in the equation of your life is God factor. A constant factor. Okay. The same yesterday, today, and forever. So ask Abraham how he dealt with him from known to unknown, but by obedience. Him, the fathers of faith. Somebody is sitting here. It's going to be a response. A, 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 a. That person that is sitting there is going to be an anchor. And people will be trusting and a reference point of faith in his community in the mighty name of Jesus. You say, consider that, brother. Consider that. Look at what God has done. Somebody will whisper and say, He has been with Jesus. I know them. Peter, they are fishermen. They are what they have been with Jesus. That's just it. If your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost and He dwells in you, Jesus in you, the hope of glory, Colossia 1 27. Your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. First Corinthians 6, I think 13. Then definitely, I believe with you, and you believe with me. We are not carrying this Holy Ghost for picnic. It's for work. It's for work. He has come to work in you, and he want to. He wants to show you fault to your world. As a as a as a species, supernatural species, a strange order of mankind. I carry God all about. And you know God is doing good. So doing good will be easier for you as from today. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see victory, outside the victories around you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says knowledge of the truth will produce freedom. We shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. The truth you know and you apply will give you freedom and access 
into your high places of relevance. That is somebody today. Because the truth will permeate into every area of your life and you will relate with the truth. Sanctify them by the truth. Thy word is truth. God will come in his word by the reason of the scripture and you see your picture in that scripture and a colorful picture will be guaranteed to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody is seeing himself as he behold Christ in the world and as a change from one level of glory to a glory another level. I'm talking about transformative change. Praise the Lord. Ayina matakaya. If you are not believing, God is more than your doubts today here. Read them as pray that they have interceded. And any human soul that will come into this place, evangelic ministrations, all they know is to decorate you with virtues, with glory. You come out from your true color in Christ. You are coming out. Tell somebody you are coming out. You are coming out. What... This is what we are hearing. The Bible says we take heed of the word. Let somebody say, take heed. That is all you need to do. The word comes to Jacob, he light on his tree. It was a generation of blessings. It was a multiplication. Israel became people like sand of the sea. When they were about to be caused, they met strange order of things in their midst. The shout of kings. The shout of kings among them. You have been silenced too long because of circumstances. Now your voice will be heard in high places. And the person I'm even prophesying to, some of them have shouted hallelujah, but one of them is not saying hallelujah, is not trusting the Lord. Let me remind you of Gideon. Gideon. Thou mighty man of valor. Hallelujah. That is Judges. His place. Uh, I will say need the, the wonderful media to search some of them. I think since 20, uh, 23 or so, uh, I just said, and the Lord said, oh, the peace or to do fear not, thou shalt not die. Why? Because, okay, let's look at 16. He said, you will, 13, 13 to 15, yeah. And God said unto him, oh my Lord, if thou Lord be with us, why then is all this befalling us? We are all his miracle with our fathers, which our fathers told us of saying, did not the Lord bring us from Egypt, but now the Lord has forsaken us. You feel forsaken? No. Persecuted, but not forsaken. You are persecuted, we thought you are forsaken. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are standing up strong today. Amen. Amen. Today is today. And delivered us into the hands of Midian. Yes, 14, please. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might. Imagine. Somebody mighty, but clinging. Enough of hide thy sick. You are coming out strong. And thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midian. The Midianites are the waster of harvests. They waste harvests. They are not interested in your work. They are interested in your results. Hallelujah. <laughs> they walk like elephant, eat like ants. Have I not sent thee? The Lord said, He has sent thee to put an end to every of your family calamity. Does it matter whether it's 200 years ago? You have not been born there. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ was born, and the angel, even in heaven, shouted, Peace unto the heart. Your own peace has come to your family. Amen. You are rising and you are going out with your true color today. The color and the decorative color from Christ, from the throne room of God himself. Somebody is not yet believing and God will not deny himself. God will do a quick work in your life and cut it short in righteousness. In the name of Jesus. Because of you, the shakeable will be shaking. And the unshakable will remain. The kingdom of God that cannot be shaken. God is a consuming fire. At the reason of the fire of the Lord, it will burn the shakeable. Doubts is shakeable. Unbelief is shakeable. Anxieties and worries is shakeable. 
They do not allow the color of the Holy Spirit to come, blow full blown. The Lord is shaking them with a fire. In the name of their shafts, they are to be born by fire. The angel of the Lord will gather shafts and they will burn it during harvest. Today is your harvest time. Medianness is the one harvest, and you are the one that will access your harvest. The angel of the Lord will be gathered and help you in the mighty name of Jesus. They don't worship me, don't you know that we are servants to the ears. By the reason of God's commands, hey, they are all the angelics, angels that have been alerted to you, they are sleeping, they are waking up. Those ones that slept, they were in darkness and they did not, they were in chains. So that coming day. So my angels, you are waking up. We are taking position. But as we take position, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So what we are saying is that people like, yeah, 15, what do they say? 15. And he said unto him, Oh my Lord, where shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor. In Manasseh, every reason you have gotten, not to allow God to do his best, because you are taking off your best. Today marks the end of your struggling with the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. And he says, it's the least. Your background does not mean your uh, back should be on the ground. It can be a wonderful catalyst for your growth, so that you will know that the power is of God, not of man. The glory is of God, not of man. That's why God is going to decorate you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are a citadel of excellence. We call that one forth from your life. You cannot be a mediocre. You are a child, you are a child is a teachable spirit, not a mediocre spirit. You know, childlike, not childish. Hallelujah. You are coming out strong. Whatever you vomit from your mouth, in terms of your word, you say out, will not come back void. It will have fulfilled that which you have sent. I'm talking about your prayer will be effective and effectual to avail, which means that you will pray in the will of God, you will pray in the purpose of God for your life. You will allow the Holy Spirit that indwell you to have a say. God will teach you all through. He will even help you to pray according to the will of God. So God will be able to honor the word because you are taking the word of God back to him. And he exalt his word more than his name. God is 100% on your side because you will be speaking his will and doing his biddings. And the angel that are sweet and they are sweet and they are powerful, they are excellent and to do God's biddings. And when you're about to do God's bidding, you'll be helped. Somebody is, is, is receiving an angelic help today. Yeah. Supernatural hands is lifting you up. Yeah. And they are sitting you down on your throne. Yeah. Where you belong. He say, I heard a voice. And they say, come up here. Everything that blocked your hearing. And they said, no. Shake yourself from the doors, oh, my, oh daughter of Zion. Shake yourself, you have lied down too long. Shake yourself. The enemy eats dust. Satan was told to eat dust. And Jesus Christ said, the prince of the world came to me, they found nothing. There's no carnality, there's no flesh. Huh? There's no flesh, sin. It was submitted under the leadership and the rulership and the reign of the Holy Spirit. So it's the picture of Jesus they see when they see you. So it's the righteousness of God inputted in you in Christ Jesus. So I'm telling you, by the grace of God, every everlasting gate and ancient door that does not lift up their head, tell them, who is the King of glory? Don't mention your name. The Lord of hosts, Kalim Makori and Asitahaya. The Lord of hosts, Christ in you, the picture of Christ in you that is manifesting in your sonship. The manifestation of sin is the one they are seeing. Hallelujah. And doors, uncommon doors of excellence is open to you now. Of greatness is open to you now. Of fulfillment is open to you now. In the name of Jesus. Since you are a partner with the Holy Spirit, and he says, Senior partner, I pray that the voice of the Holy Spirit will not be silenced in your life. As from today, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And you will not be searched and not be found in your place. In the name of Jesus. 
whatever patient, whatever tenacity that is required to stand because you know the faithfulness and trustworthiness of God, you will exercise it in the mighty name of Jesus. Those through which faith and patience inherit the promise. Faith and patience. The faith is granted in love. If God can take you from darkness and translate it, translate you, I mean, to the kingdom of the Son, in him we have redemption, even forgiveness of sin, and pay the price. You owe the debts that you cannot pay, and Jesus Christ paid the debt that he did not owe because of the love he had for you. Hallelujah. Romans 8, 32 said, if he loves you now and can give his only beloved son, Romans 8, 32, how much more that tiny house rent, how much more that tiny school fees, how much more? Why do you think God will now waste Jesus Christ? The, the, the choice, the choice uh, uh, person, the choice in, in, in the heavenly places and left Strip him from that off from that glory, and then came down here for a, for a crown of tongues, left his crown of glory, just because he wanted to place that of glory into your head, and you say you are not going there to receive the booties of what Christ has done. Satan is a liar. He's a liar. I say he's a liar. And when they hear your voice. They shall be afraid. They will fade away from your cross. You are not speaking. That is why they are not hearing your voice. And when you don't hear, they don't hear your voice, it's because you are between two opinions. You are not sure whether God is good and God is not good. The elements of the world hear the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. They don't, yeah. Somebody preach here, I love it. Everything was bad. Darkness, emptiness, and disorderliness. What do you accept? Satan is at work. For God, in light, created it. He said, let there be. It was not part of whatever situation. And that's a the God that dwells in you, that is his nature. Hallelujah. All he knew is to bring God in the picture. You are bringing God into the picture now. I said you will be bringing God into the picture now. You have been bringing yourself to your, into the picture. And some of us, anytime we, challenge, uh, we have challenge, we say, oh, really me. oh my God, oh my father said. So now, it's God will be bringing to the picture through the help of the Holy Spirit. And the result that Asi people of ancient, ancient times, they have Hebrew 11 talk about people of great faith. You are recording your own results. Even the one that is going to be more glorious. God, their work is just to help us. Those who Christ will be revealed in this last day, <laughs> their faith is even not complete. My God and my Lord, look at that sister. You are coming out strong. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are bought to Christ too long. It's exploding out from you. Ah, yeah, yeah. If they say the former rain is giving moderately, the former rain is giving moderately, sir, Elisha who died and is dead raised dead oh my god he was operating on that former rain and that is a moderate ah. eyes have not seen yes have not had yeah. not that have you come to the knowledge of man maybe some of us is just one percent of our what we are operating you are operating hundred percent the good seed that fall on your good ground will not bring 30 scores alone. You are upgrading to 60 scores and you are upgrading to 100 fold in the mighty name of Jesus. 100 fold blessings received into your being in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. If they can call that one moderate, my people, people of God, if they can call that moderate, not because he could not transfer it to Gehazi because Gehazi loved the world. Like Paul said, Demas forsake me because he loved the world. They are not doubtful. They are not sure of what God is all about. God said, let there be light. And I was light. And behold, it was good. So, if a man therefore purge himself from anything that can limit the power and the strength of the Holy Ghost, it shall be a vessel of the honor of all. And the Holy Spirit will sanctify them. Body, soul, and spirit, 
and what through whatever to fire to the word of God and he will be made for master use and prepared unto every good works I'm prepared let somebody say I'm prepared somebody say I am prepared for every good work ready for the anointing because when you when you when you present your, your body as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service you have to come and present is availability not ability he say come you come and I will make you not man you hallelujah you come the spirit of the bride he said Lord come Lord Jesus he knocks say come come inside you come to me he dwells in you he abides in you and he abides in you it's a mystery praise the Lord have you come to the river purify my heart let it be as pure pure as silver purify my heart let it be as pure as pure pure as gold refine of fire hey. my whole heart desire is to be holy set apart from you Lord I choose to be you are a choice agent holy set apart from you my master ready to do your will you are the one you are the one that will come come and drink from the rivers without money without cost come it has been paid for don't drag behind come into this unceasing flow flow of virtues flow of power flow of strength and be that what God has ordained for you from the foundation of the world. Don't you change your destiny. Don't you change yourself. Come, come. The Spirit is becoming to you. Come. Change my life, oh God. Let it ever be. Change my life, oh Lord. May I be like you. You are the potters. Potters. I am the clay. Mold me and make me. This is what I pray. Change my life, oh Lord. It's the presence of God. You are changed from one level of image, from glory to glory, another glory to glory. The spirit of the Lord. Come, come. Come. Everlasting and ancient doors. Closing glory to your family lineage. Today they are broken. Come. I heard the voice. Come up here. Come. Put all God factors in line. Put God in line. And when you want to put God in line, you put the word of God in line. When you want to put the word of God in line, you take the word of God back. They call it prayer. When you want to take the word of God in prayer uh, and prayer in line, you praise God. Be careful for not you don't put your, your, your anxiety and worries in line in your front. But by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, heart full of gratitude, because I know where I'm coming from, I know where I am. You are not praying as a slave to sin. You are praying as a son of God. You have a spirit that cries out by Father. No spirit of fear. Of bondage to fear again. You approach the throne of mercy to obtain grace. With bondage. You are righteous. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. What righteous does? You are always bold as liar. Weakness is over in your life. He said, when they burned, they burned him, he said, this is the one that weakened all nations. With wrong testimonies, with wrong mindsets. And why? Just to sift the faith. Peter! 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 I have prayed for you! Satan has come! The one that weakened all nations. To save you! Diane will just be like ant. You send somebody there, God 
of heaven. God, there, I've given this nation to you. It's full, it's full of, with a uh, make a honey. And you got here to tell God that he's wrong. Who gave you the eyes that you see if he not, does not see? <laughs> you can see. You can see human being. If you tell tree to be there, tree will be there. Wither, they wither. Fruitful, they but human being because they created you as a choice agent. And you use that one as an instrument to act against God. But Joshua and Caleb said, no, we had him. Not only hear him, we see. But what you hear, you must see. That is revelation knowledge. I will stand upon my watch and I will see. But what he says. I mean, they talk to a friend and he's, he's, he nod his head. He said, I see. Know that he, he grabbed it. Full comprehension of the love of God. We need to see it. We hear, we heard it. The enemy cannot shut you up. When they told Peter, they, they know you. They said they have been with Jesus. They say, but don't preach in this name again. They say, we cannot. So what we hear and what we see. First John, John 1, 1 said, what we have heard, what we have seen, what our hand has touched. Talk about tangibility. Today, your faith will be substantial. Will be real. We are like giants. We are like ants. They are giants. And God and I, G I, with the ant is what makes me a giant. Take God and I out of it. You are an ant, of course. Satan has resisted so many millions of years. So you, but God was with them. Oh, Emmanuel, God with us. Acts ten thirty eight. Before we close. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth going about doing good, healing all those that are oppressed. After knowing God, he was taking God all over. Fit for the master use. You have to first of all know what you can teach. Hallelujah. Revelation to you, in you, now through you. God that comfort you and you can comfort others with the same comfort now that you receive. That's why God is lifting you up so that you can, you can lift somebody else up. Hallelujah. To somebody that was toiling, confused, thinking there is no harvest, they launched it to the deep. He said, whoa. And when he did it, he was able to call others. He was fit to be an expression of love, of miracle to others that are toiling in the same river. You are coming out. So that thousands of people attached to your testimony of your destiny will come out. You are coming out. What can this one do be? For we God, all things are possible. Now, let me tell you, somebody that came out, Mary, Elizabeth, your cousin, go and share. Your testimony is needed with me by million people. Million of people. Expecting your rising. Kings and priests will come to your rising. But you need to arise. Arise now. Arise physically. Let's stand up. You are positioning yourself by arising. Now as I stand physically today, Lord, I am just using a shadow for shadow of God. If former rain can be given moderately. Ha, ya, ya. Elijah, call down fire. He says, under former rain. Joshua said, moon and sun, please stop. I'm doing the work of God here. They say it's under former rain. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. We will not be guilty in the presence of God. Anyway, I take a gate away, but we will be changed with rewards. No! In this power of yours, have I not sent you? Have I not sent who? Who is speaking? God. Who was speaking? God. Who sent you? Who sent you? You can be you can't serve two masters. Fit for the master use, but who is the one sending you? It can only either be Satan or God. Human being can be under two spirit. Praise the Lord. Even when you are flesh, Satan has power over it. But I'm just saying that you can't serve two masters. So if, oh God, servants of God, shout hallelujah. If you serve God, that's what I mean. Serve, uh, shout hallelujah. 
They will send you. They go in this might of yours. Not by power, not by mind, but by my spirit, says the Lord. So it's the spirit of the Lord that is in you that will strengthen your cooking your motor body. It's the one that will give life to your motor body. It's the spirit of God. It's the spirit of God. Ancient God, ancient word, ever true, changing me. As the voice I was hearing. Is your heart open? We have come. We have come. Not your mother. Oh, let us not Go! 